lie to me yet. Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno in Justice Zeno with 15 minute fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day will feed your mind, your body, and your future. All right, we're good. So we don't skip a beat. All right, so today we're sitting out here um, listening to, watching people <laughs> eat, listen to music in the mountains. So um, today, what are we going to talk about today? Well, so number one, always make sure you join us on YouTube. Make sure you do. Uh, also, Justice, do you have a YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Justice has a YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. We're going to start doing videos with that. And also his fan page. It's called the Justice Zeno page. Um, also, you know, again, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, Snapchat, Instagram, all those things. Make sure you get involved there. And that's, uh, we, that's just great different ways we could communicate and truly get social. And uh, just deliver everything we can to you guys. All right, so today in today's fuel, I'm going to talk about the force equation. We're going to talk a little Einstein. All right, Einstein says force equals mass times acceleration. Right now in life, it's it's always that it's always that critical point that people just can't get over. Right, so it's like they want to make the leap. They need to make the decision. Um, I need to make that one step and it's just it's a very uncomfortable there, there's a lot of resistance here right there's a lot of resistance to break through we talk about the fears and the fogs right the fear like this this barrier is made up of fears and fogs right so the fears hold you back your brain only knows your mind only knows what am I gonna lose what what can I lose what can I lose not what I could gain your spirit feels that so the fears and the fog create such a resistance that we need a mass of force. So where do where do other people get the force to break to break through that resistance? You know, so just like when you break boards in karate, right? So when you break the board in karate or you do those things, so how much force does it? All right, we're back. All right, so sorry about that. So, like, depending if he said it was your hand or your foot, uh, it takes different force to do it. So, if force equals mass times acceleration, so let's talk about in your life, whatever that dream and goal. What I mean by dream, I don't mean that like it's some type of pipe dream. It's like you really have the desire to get in that relationship, to move, to start another career, to write a book, to actually to friggin' be not average, you know, like to, to be the hero, to embrace the I am, to get the confidence, the pride, the ego, the humility. So you know what? I live once, right? Uh, and if you live once. All right, so we're going inside. I'm sorry, the internet. internet. So stay tuned. This is going to be worth it. I promise. Do you need help with that, Dad? It's the other way. I do this every night. I know. Hold on. Which way? Oh. We got to... Hold on, I gotta... You keep on Here we go. We're gonna get some lights. We're gonna get some lights. Come on. A little bit more. Good, I good, good. Really All right, Justice, push this aside. All the way over. All right, good. All right, now we're back. All right, so, so force equals mass times acceleration, right? So what is the... Well, how do we gonna gain the force to break through? And it gets scary. So whether it be breaking boards or excelling or making a financial leap or moving... Mass is is really in the forms of time. No, no, no. Mass is in the forms of money and work. You know, money, work, and mindset. That's really the three the three things that create the mass. So it, it's going to take money and invest in yourself, going all in on yourself, or liquidating to go in on yourself, or borrowing to go in on yourself to get. See, that money, what's work, and that mindset of doing what you really want to do, that, that desire, so to speak, you combine those things together. That's the mass, okay? But now we need that with something called speed of implementation, and that's your acceleration. So the mass, which is the investing in yourself or taking the risk or the mindset of it, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go really hard and put my head down and really work. See, all those things are the mass. And then you do it at a rapid rate. That's speed of implementation. That means when you get the desire, you act. Because you notice when you didn't act on your desire, what starts to happen? It starts to eat away at you. And then you just give up on it. 
and all your dreams, all your goals, all your things disappear. So you take the money, the time, the work, the mindset, all those things, and the speed of limitation. That's your mass. That's your acceleration. And those things combined will allow you to have the breakthrough to go through it. So just like when we moved here, right? So, yeah. you know, we came here in August and it's something that we wanted to do. Your mommy and I wanted to do, but we had every reason not to. Well, we got a practice in Houston. We got a beautiful home we made in Houston. Um, I've been here for 13 years. I developed my career here. You know, everything was nice and comfortable, right? But there's just that part of you that says what? I want to go. Yeah, I want to go. You know, there's just that, there's that little kid in you that's like, listen, yeah, you know, the, wouldn't it be fun if you do it? And then you start, you started with the what ifs, what ifs, and then it became what if, and then it became someday, you know, and someday. And so someday is always the eighth day of the week and never comes. And then uh, eventually it just was a matter of Woody and I just, on a Sunday, making a decision, literally like, like we're talking out, I'm, we're deciding. And once you make the decision and once you commit, then you get to see all the unknowns and all the, the plans on how to make it happen. So we actually really committed because we were actually talking about going back to Houston. So now we're just here full time. Yeah. Well, so we so just, bad. that Sunday, put the house in the market go we can do and then when you make the commitment then everything else works out how's the practice going to run we got two amazing doctors that came at the perfect time see opportunity lent itself there and i get to go back once a month there and we go back and forth but you know and little things you know we live in the town home here they you know you guys started school i mean we did all this within the marriage yeah they like the arcade we have here um we did all this in a matter of what like two weeks right yeah or one week actually so it was the, you, see, you definitely see the acceleration, boom, make the decision. It took work, it took, uh, it took finances, it took liquidating, you know, we really, and that's another thing, it was like, wow, we're gonna, be, you know, it, it'll, it'll cause us to be uncomfortable for the next couple months or years, but for the long run, it's the right move, you know? So that's just an example in our life. So for you in your life, what is the thing that you've been waiting to do? What is that thing that you've been, pridefully and you know having that ego that listen i would love to do this what if this would be so fun i would feel so good i would love to be doing this and you're telling yourself well someday or you're you're letting the fears and the fogs hold you back and now all you need is a little force to break through like the like the space shuttle breaking through the stratosphere you need a little bit of force you know it's going to take that mass, which is going to be the work ethic, the mindset, and the desire of, of really putting yourself. Remember, I talk about visual putting yourself in as it already has been completed. Like we saw ourselves here, we saw ourselves freeze, we felt ourselves freezing in the cold, but we saw and felt all the amazing opportunities that could be, and we stayed there. I didn't think about what I could lose. I thought about what the future could bring. And you bring that desire, you bring that work, and you bring, you know, the, the investment in yourself and in your dream. That's the mass. And, and you know what? You make a decision and you do it fast as hell. All right? Because then when you do it fast, you break through. And we broke through. We did it. All right? So, you have to you let know, something go. We have to let something go. I love it, man. You can't hit second base with your foot on first, right? So we just wanted, you know, basically the whole I Am Heroes thing is to, you know, be one or two chapters ahead so we could leave the blueprint our family so it could give yourself so you could give yourself permission to do the same knowing that i know that in my life when i have a dream or a desire and i know someone else has already done it that means i'm capable of doing it too you know if it's been done you absolutely could do it too none of us all of us were born naked with nothing remember that it's we all we all started with the same we, we all started the same, you know, yeah, you might've been born into different families, but you personally, your spirit was born, but the same necessity as, you know, basics as everybody else. So you have the same potential as well. And for, for some of you that you say, well, you don't understand where I came from. I came from a rough neighborhood, a rough home. I never knew my father. You know what? The bigger the adversity, usually the bigger the testimony. You have more hunger, you have more appreciation, and you're actually more grateful. So, you know, the, the greatest success stories come from the biggest 
obstacles. So when you look at the whole story, there's no excuse for you moving forward. It's just going to take a little bit of force to make the breakthrough. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Justice, for being uh, hanging out with me, my little buddies, because I know a lot of people want to see him. Look how big he's getting and handsome. Look at this. Uh, t uh, Titus is on a walk with Whitney. They're walking in the mountains. See, can't do that in Houston on, in, this, in the summer. I, I hiked um, on, the on the first Friday of school, four miles. Yeah. He, on like a mountain. Too. He goes to a school that Friday... Every Friday. Every Friday, there's a field trip. So you hiked a mountain. That was five. Well, you went five mile hike. Five mile hike. Um, and then you went camping on another one. Yeah, I went camping. And then you went. Uh, I actually, went camping for two days. Yeah, I know. So it's, you know, it, it's just something where that might this none of that might appeal to you. And it never and it doesn't snow in Texas either. Yeah, I mean, it might not appeal to you. And snow, we had a bad sto a big snowstorm. So it, these things might not appeal to you, but you know. There's things that do appeal to you, and there's things that would bring you enjoyment and experience in life, knowing that each day that goes by, you never get it back. So mass and acceleration equals the force, or force equals mass times acceleration. Apply it to your life, and let me know how it goes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching 15 Minute Fuel, which is 15 minutes day. We'll fill your mind, your, your body, body, and, and your, your future. future. All right, we'll see you soon. Good luck. Bye.